Okay. Hi, it's me again, Sloan. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had a nightmare that felt so real? And when you woke up from it, because you do wake up from it in a cold sweat, your heart pounding out of your chest. Did you ever feel like it was so real and you were so frightened and so panicked that when you woke up, you were angry at the people who were in your dream? You ever had that moment? No? Oh, you, okay, great, wonderful. I'm talking to you, not you. You didn't have that moment. Back up over there. Listen, so I had that moment a couple of times, but one in particular, because I just mentioned it on another video, and so I feel a need to explain. I had a moment where in my dream, I uh, was tired and I came into the bar and um, my, at the time, husband and my psychotic stalker former sister were playing poker uh, on the far end of the bar uh, at a little, in a little booth at a table. And, okay, so like, I'm at the bar, right? And the bar is long, goes to the back, and they're in the back of the back all the way on the other side of the bar. So like, it's a big square, I'm on one end, they're diagonally, like right across the bar from me. If you split it, like, two triangles. So I'd have to go directly across from one corner to another corner to get to them. I have a drink and I yell over at them like, don't, you better not be betting anything because I'm not going to pay up for that asshole. And they're like, whatever. And they're very dismissive. So I have a shot. Bartender hands me another shot. Ex-husband loses. He kicks the table onto the floor. Cards are everywhere all over the dance floor. And I'm like, shit. take another shot get up onto that dance floor to walk across because walking all the way around would take too much time so I walked across the dance floor and as I step onto the dance floor it lights up it's the fucking dance floor from Saturday Night Fever it lights up and John fucking Travolta sorry grabs me by the hand and spins me in and spins me back out and I keep falling into his hairy ass chest and back out again and I'm screaming at this point, help me, help me. And they are laughing their fucking asses off at me. Those evil bastards. So. I'm panicking and I'm having this and I can't breathe and my heart is pounding out of my fucking chest and I'm just trying to get away from him and he won't let me go. My hand is stuck in his. So I wake up in a cold sweat. I'm panicked, I'm freaking the fuck out. My ex-husband was in bed with me at the time. And he rolls over, baby, what's wrong? And I punched him. <laughs> You're a dick. And we lived in a motel room at the time, so our bed, and then there was like right next to our bed, there was like a fold out couch thing. And uh, the psychopath was laying on that. And I, she, she rolled over it and looked at me like, fuck off or something or other, something stupid, very dismissive. And I jumped on top of her and folded her into the fucking bed. And I'm jumping on top of it like, you're a fucking bitch. I told you not to bet with him. Boom. It's so stupid because I was so fucked up from the dream. Like I was still so mad at them. So I, I got myself a bottle of Pepsi, drank it down. And I'm sitting there like, you guys are assholes. And I explained to them the dream. And they're like, but it happened in your dream. You know, this didn't actually happen, right? And they didn't understand. Like, my heart was pounding out of my chest. I had cold sweats. I was freaking the fuck out. And they were laughing at me. And now at this point, they're kind of laughing at me, but not like outright laughing at me. They're just like 
you know, you're being stupid, right? <laughs> I wanted to strangle them that much more. Have you ever had that moment? Because I've had that moment. <laughs> I've had that moment so many times. My God. I didn't wake up and physically, like, attack anybody every single time I had that moment. But that time, that night I did. <laughs> it's just... It was just one of those things. And so ever since then, every time I see John Travolta on screen, I fucking have that flashback to that nightmare. And it was a recurring nightmare. As a matter of fact, it happened so fucking often, so often, it drove me nuts for months. And I still occasionally have that nightmare. It's not as intense anymore, but by the gods, it was crazy for months. So yeah, that's the, reason why I banned all John Travolta movies from my home. I didn't let my children watch Grease or anything else with John Travolta in it. I get it. He's a semi-decent actor now, and I've seen a couple of his movies since then, but it takes me a while to be able to sit down and watch these movies because I have to pause them, stop, walk away because the anxiety gets too much, and then I come back to it a day or three later and continue from where I left off because I don't want to go back so yeah it's my own personal trauma I understand that but like it's a thing and so I didn't allow my children to watch anything by John Travolta or with John Travolta in it at all look who's talking never never not in my house uh uh so yeah that was that's the John Travolta thing I figured I'd explain it to you because I said it in the other video um so yeah that's the the thing um and I guess I will talk to you guys again soon